I've recently added bikepacking to my mountain biking hobby, and I've had a lot of fun doing it. In the past year, I've went on three trips. I've totaled about 250 miles, and I learned a lot. Today, I'd like to share my bikepacking setup with you. I use the Trek Farley as my bikepacking platform, and I chose a bike with fat tires because I ride rugged and remote trails. In fact, uh, the last two trails that I rode, there were recommendations in the reviews for people with skinnier tires to avoid certain sections of the trail that were really tough. I don't want to skip anything, so I chose the fat bike platform in order to be able to help me get over any of those leaves and sticks or any churned up sections on the trail that are really loose. I think fat is the platform for riding rugged and remote. Now I've backpacked a lot and one difference between that and bike packing is that on a bike you have many different places to carry your gear. Uh, on my bike the main storage components are a handlebar roll, a frame bag, and a seat bag. Um, I live and ride in the southeastern United States and so waterproof is important to me. It's humid here and we have many pop-up thunderstorms even when the forecast doesn't call for rain, especially when you're in the mountains. So I chose a set of bags from Blackburn called the Outpost Elite and these bags are waterproof. Before I start going through my bike and the bags and the things that I packed in it, it's useful for me to tell you some things I keep in mind while I'm packing my bike. The first thing I keep in mind when packing my bike is that I want to try to get the heaviest items to the center and low on the bike. And that's because you want to try to keep your weight uh, as close to that bottom bracket as possible because overall that's going to make your bike just handle all that much better. The second thing I keep in mind is that because I'm using waterproof stuff sacks that have only one entry point, the first thing that I put in there is going to be the last thing that I'm going to get out that night. So the things at the bottom of those bags are the last thing that I'm going to need at camp. The final thing that I like to keep in mind when I'm packing my bike is that I want to thoughtfully remember what items I want to have within arm's reach of me or have quick access to. So that includes such items as maybe I want a snack so that I can keep my energy up while I'm riding or emergency things like a first aid kit. We'll start off at the front of my bike with the handlebar roll. The handlebar roll was the reason why I first started looking at Blackburn. And the reason is because it has a standoff bracket that holds the bag out away from the handlebars. And I really like that because it means that you're not going to tangle up all of your uh, brake lines and shifter cables and things like that. I like to use my handlebar roll for my sleep system. And when it comes to packing, there are rollers, folders, and stuffers. And I'm a stuffer. The first thing that I stuff in there is my Slumberjack Guide sleeping bag. This bag is rated to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but I doubt it'll get there anymore. I've had it about 20 years. It's lost a little bit of loft, but I can't seem to part with it. At home, I'm one of those sleepers that likes to kick a leg out while I'm sleeping. This bag has a zippered foot vent that allows you to air out your feet while you're sleeping, and that's just a cool feature. The next things I stuff into my handlebar roll are my inflatable mattress, which is a Big Agnes Air Core, and my inflatable pillow, which is a Trekology. The rest of the items are my tent, and my tent is an REI Passage 1. The way I pack it is, first goes my rain fly, then comes the main body of the tent, followed by the footprint, and that's just reverse order as to how I would set it up. And finally, in behind all of those things is where I stuff in my uh, tent poles, and that adds just a little bit of extra rigidity to the handlebar roll system uh, that I like. On the outside of my handlebar roll, I attach some pouches for some quick access items. Blackburn calls this bag a hitchhiker, and inside the hitchhiker, I had a few items. One of the items I had was my first aid kit, and one of the things that I told Jay when we arrived in Damascus is that my first aid kit is right here in this hitchhiker. Another item that I had was my hygiene kit. Uh, some of you might vary from me, but I might want to brush my teeth or floss my teeth in the middle of the day, especially after you eat something like beef jerky. Another item is my Sawyer Mini water filtration system, and you want to have this in a quick access place because you never know when you're going to come across uh, water that you might want to filter and uh, bring along with you. Uh, for the water filtration, I had a platypus bag. This is not a dirty bag. This is a clean bag. It's for an extra liter of water as I might need it. I also carried my uh, titanium spork up here in the hitchhiker, and then a couple of other items, sunscreen and bug spray. All of these were tucked in here nicely and easily accessible. 
On the front of the hitchhiker, I have an aluminum trowel, and that's in case we had to use the bathroom while we're away from any facilities, and that allows us to dig an environmentally friendly uh, cat trench. In the Yeti pouch, the items that I carried in there were very simple. It was just an assortment of straps, and I wanted to have quick access to straps because this being my first time bikepacking, I wanted to have access to a number of different solutions to allow me to change my load or how it's supported on the bike. I also took a number of zip ties, connected them together, and then threaded them through the molly straps on the front of the handlebar roll. On the handlebar, behind the handlebar roll, was my Wahoo Element, and I also carried my bike light back here. Moving back to the center of the bike, let's go over my frame bag. The contents of my frame bag were some of the densest and heaviest items that I carried with me. In my frame bag were three days worth of food uh, portioned out in Ziploc bags. Food is very dense, very heavy, especially if you're carrying granola and trail mix and things like that. In the bottom of my frame bag, closest as I could get it to my bottom bracket, were the heaviest items I carried and they were two 20,000 milliamp hour batteries for charging all of my electronics on the trail. 20, uh, 40,000 milliamp hours overall was a little bit of overkill. Uh, I think I can get away with one of these for most of my needs. Also down in the bottom corner of my frame bag was my MSR pocket rocket stove. It's also heavy and dense. There's a zippered pouch on the outside of the frame bag that's a very narrow pouch. And in that pouch, I carried my tent pegs, but also I put some charging cords and some earbuds. Um, I'm not too happy with that setup. I'm gonna think of something else different in the future. The Blackburn frame bag has some quick access pouches on the outside here. And I would use those mostly to stuff in trash while I'm riding. Uh, wet wipes or candy wrappers, they just go in here for quick access and storage um, so I can leave no trace. On the top tube, I carried a top tube bag. The top tube bag was where I stored a number of electronics. I kept reading glasses in there, a backup GPS, a few extra batteries, some cords, headlamp, etc. Moving back from the top tube bag, I had a 27 and a half plus inner tube. I didn't carry a fat bike inner tube because those are very large and heavy. And I've read that you can over inflate a plus bike tube and you can use that in an emergency with a fat bike tire. The thing farthest back on my top tube is my tool bag because it's the heaviest and densest. Moving on back to the back of the bike, we come to the seat bag. The mounting bracket on the Blackburn Outpost Elite seat bag mounts only to the chromoly rails, so it allows you to use your dropper post. The seat bag mostly contained fabric items to keep things light. One exception was I had my cook kit in the nose of the seat bag. This was my pot, my coffee mug, and then my isopro fuel all nicely nested. And then around that, I had wrapped a microfiber towel in order to keep things from banging around and making all kinds of racket. I added this to the nose of the seat bag because it added a lot of nice rigidity to the front of the bag where it would be connecting into the mount. In behind those elements, I had my clean clothes in a stuff sack and I had a set of, I had a base layer for every day that I would be on the trail. And the base layer was a t-shirt, a, a new chamois, and a new pair of socks. Behind my clean clothes bag, I had a dirty clothes bag and things would just transfer from my clean clothes bag over to my dirty clothes bag as days went on. And then behind that, I had a nice quick drying camp towel. And then at the very back of my seat bag so that I could have access to them while I'm out on the trail was uh, some layers. And then the first layer that I had was a wind shell to keep me warm if it was, um, if it was very windy. And then I also had a long sleeve thermal layer. On the outside of my seat bag is a pair of camp shoes and having a different pair of shoes that you can step into at the end of a day after spending a day in another pair of shoes is a really cool luxury. Finally, I have a cold steel SRK that I slide in between the bag and its mount. For water, I carried a Camelback Mule and a Camelback Mule has a three liter reservoir capacity. In the top pouch, I carried my wallet, my phone if it wasn't in my pocket and some camera accessories. And the bottom pouch carried uh, the day's lunch and some snacks. Before any bikepacking adventure, I take my bikepacking list that I have in spreadsheet and I go out into the bike shop and I lay everything out onto the floor. I inventory it and I make sure everything is serviceable before I pack it onto the bike. And that's my basic setup. If you would like more details on what I carry in my toolkit or first aid kit, or maybe on how I select and pack my food, just let me know. Later. And 
these bags are very waterproof. Very waterproof is very waterproof a thing. 